All right, so in this section of your digital notebook, you're going to be writing your own ethogram. And you're going to do this about a behavior that you're going to observe yourself. You're going to come up with the categories and the structural and relational descriptions. And if you want to know what the ethogram should look like, there's lots of examples on the previous um, pages of your digital notebook here. So what you're going to do is you're going to begin by opening this website. It's called explore.org. And it's got all kinds of live cams places in the world where people have set up a video camera and it's just constantly streaming to the internet and you can watch animals doing things. Like here we have a panda bear that's crawling around in this tree all adorably, right? Um, when you come to the page, across the top are places where you can go to search for other, you know, live cams. Like, you know, maybe you want to go look at oceans. And you can click on, and uh, some of the live cams for the oceans will come up. If you scroll down, you'll see other live cams. And if it says live on it, then that means something's happening there. Now, most of them are of animals. Some of them are of places where there are people. Some of them are of, like, uh, tanks and aquariums. I'm going to let you pick whichever one you want, but you're looking for one that's going to have... Um, animals doing different behaviors, right? Not just one behavior. Um, so I always kind of just go to the all cams that are live right now because they tend to be the ones that are going to have the best videos. So uh, maybe I'll go to the Tembe Elephant Park here in Africa. Well, let's see what's going on there. Hmm. Well, nothing going on there right now see some bugs flying around and things like that. It's nighttime there, so not the right time to go to the Tembe Elephant Park. Um, so let's find another one. Most of these look like they're at night right now. Let's see if we can find that panda one again. I'm going to search for that one because that was a pretty good one. I should have just stayed there. All right, so here we have a panda bear and it's doing some behaviors and what your task is going to be to do is to watch the animal and you might watch the animal for 10 or 15 minutes. But your goal is to try to identify some different behaviors that you see the animal doing. And when you see it doing something that is a unique or new or otherwise different behavior, what I want you to do is to take a screenshot of that behavior. Um, so if I was going to screenshot this, I might say, all right, I like that. Boom. I'm going to get a picture of that behavior, right? And then I would go back to my ethogram and I would insert the photo. Okay. And then I would give that behavior a name. Now, you could make a table kind of like the other ethograms have been if you want to. Or you can do it a little bit more informally. I might call that behavior, I don't know, uh, climbing. Right? Um, or maybe I'll call it tree lounging. And then I would write my description of what tree lounging looks like. Talk about where the panda bears are, what they're doing. Now, the key here is I'm not just describing 30 seconds of this panda bear's life. Like, I wouldn't write, like, the panda bear moves its head to the left underneath the little branch. That's not what I'm looking for. I want a general description of what tree lounging looks like. So I might say the panda bear um, is off of the ground in the tree, standing on both thin and thick branches. Um, it's moving back and forth, but mostly laying on the branches, you know, and I'd start describing what it's doing when it's doing tree lounging. And then I'd wait and then until I saw a different, oh, that's not what I wanted, until I saw a different behavior like they're doing already here. And I might say, oh, all right, well, now this is a different behavior because it's, you know, got this stick in its mouth. And maybe I would just call that, you know, chewing behavior or, you know, 
gnawing behavior or something. I don't know. I'd give it a name, right? And then maybe I'd look at this bear down here on the ground and I'd be like, well, that bear is doing something different too, right? Maybe I'd call that play rolling or whatever. You need to come up with three different behaviors that you want to describe that these animals do. Um, so with that, uh, I hope you enjoy explore.org. It's a pretty, pretty good website.